Welcome back to my channel. This is Nikki of Nikki's Homemade Crafts. Today I'm going to teach you how to crochet the top stitch. The top stitch is literally made in the top of your stitches and it's super lacy and beautiful. It's also nicely stacked stitch over stitch which is really cool and allows you to have a beautiful geometrical project all done in a Tunisian top stitch. So let's get started. In order to crochet the top stitch, I'm using a Tunisian crochet hook. Um, use a slightly bigger hook than you normally would for the yarn that you're picking. So I have here worsted yarn and I'm using a six millimeter hook. So my hook is very long and has the same size on both sides, but it doesn't really matter. You can use a Tunisian hook with a cord on it or with a stopper. That, it totally doesn't matter for this stitch. I have a few different options uh, down below on different Tunisian crochet hooks. So let's get started. Make a chain of any number. I believe I have here roughly 14 or 15. Then starting from the second chain from the hook, you're going to pull up loops. So I'm going into the back bump just to make it prettier looking. So simply pull up a loop and we're making our foundation row, which is the Tunisian simple stitch. So you're just going into each chain. As I said, I'm going into the back bump and pulling up a loop. You're going to do that all the way until the end of the row. Once you're in, at the end of the row, it's going to look like this. Now we're just going to do the regular return pass. So yarn over and pull through one, and then yarn over pull through two, and then yarn over pull through two for the rest of the row. That is the return pass. Now let's actually start with the top stitch. So the top stitch does not go into any of these uh, vertical bars. We're actually working on top of the stitch. So I'm going to actually pull this out just so you can look and it's going to be easier as I'm pointing with my hook. So if you slightly tilt your project, you will see these bumps. They're pretty much the same as the back bumps that you just worked here on the bottom. They look exactly the same way. So you're simply going into these bumps right here. So therefore on the top of the stitch and that's where you're pulling up your loops. So look for your little bumps, insert your hook. So you may have to use a second finger here in order to push it in. Once you're in, you pull up a loop and you move on to the next. So this may be a little bit tricky depending on how tight your tension is. So keep your tension loose when you do the return pass and it should make it much, much easier. So you can see I'm just pulling up the loops and I'm doing that all the way through the end of the row. Once you're at the end, you're going to stop when you did your very last one over here. So you're not going into the typical uh, two loops here at the end. So you're stopping right here. Now we're just going to do the return pass as normal. So yarn over and pull through one, and then yarn over, pull through two, and you're going to do that until the end of the row. Now you're just going to repeat that second row over and over and again until you're done with your project. In order to finish up your project, you have a few different choices to work it up. You can leave it as is, or you can do the slip stitches. I prefer going still into the top stitch here, pulling up a loop and then pulling through. So you're doing your slip stitches on the top in a top stitch. So it's going to look like this. So you're just going to go into the top stitch and then doing a slip stitch. So that way, if you look at it closely, you can see that the top and bottom pretty much look the same, right? So that is how you work up the top stitch. You can totally go into the spaces too to work it up, but I feel like this is much cleaner and it shows in the last row still the top stitch, how it's supposed to look like. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you're going to use the top stitch for. I would love to know. It is such a beautiful lacy stitch and it's fun for so many different projects. Be sure to like, comment and share this video and be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on the bell to get a notification next time I'm publishing a video or go live. Now go ahead and watch the next video. You're going to want to, I promise you do.